My hydroponic system and design. I live in Arizona where 90% of the cost of an apple is transportation costs. Why are we shipping apples to Arizona? We have to bring in produce that's not grown here. But what if we could grow our own at home? It would be nice to save 90% on apples, peppers, and tomatoes too. I was in the grocery store and I saw a sign, $4 per pound for tomatoes. Am I buying tomatoes or is this prime rib? If prices continue to go up, old people will be eating cat food. Grow your own and tell the grocery store that $4 a pound is too much for tomatoes. Bell peppers in that grocery store were $1 each in July. Peppers used to be three for a dollar, not one. Soon peppers will cost $3 each. That's nine times more than three for a dollar. What do you do if you live in a warm climate, have plenty of water and garden area, and an abundance of sunshine? You grow two garden favorites, bell peppers and tomatoes. I like peppers and tomatoes because both can be dried if I don't have an immediate use for them. Peppers can be frozen and put on pizza and in sandwiches, sauces, casseroles, and cooked with meats and onions. Peppers are also loaded with vitamin C. Tomatoes are delicious when eaten raw in salads and sandwiches, but are also great on salsa or on pizza, cooked in sauces, rice dishes. Tomatoes can be canned for later use as well. One plant can give you many peppers or tomatoes and save you a lot of money if you don't have to pay the produce market to ship them from a great distance. Now what if I told you that I can grow 800 plants in the space of 12 feet by 1 foot? 12 square feet. Each plant can produce 14 bell peppers on average. If each pepper is worth a dollar, how much is that? 11,200 peppers valued at $11,200. That's just one season. Where I live there are four seasons and I can grow things every month. In fact, December is the month when I can grow the most things, believe it or not. June is the month that I can grow the least number of things, but I can still grow squash and melons. Watermelon, cantaloupe, and dozens of other melons from around the world. If you have the space to grow 800 plants, you can grow a lot of different edible things. Lettuce, radishes, watermelon, cantaloupe, cucumbers, tomatoes, basil, thyme, parsley, cilantro, spinach, peas, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, shard, arugula, and endive, to name a few. Each is useful to the individual, and if you grow more than you need, you can trade with neighbors. Cucumbers will not go to waste. You put them in vinegar and eat them anytime. Anyone can grow 35 tons of tomatoes on an acre of ground. That's 70,000 pounds of tomatoes worth about $2 per pound or more. If stored tomatoes are $2 a pound and it costs money for gasoline to go there, do you think you could compete with a price of $2 per pound? Save the gasoline to go there and you're already at an advantage, even at $2 a pound. You can sell profitably to your neighbors at half the store price. Old people can have tomatoes with their cat food. Maybe they can stay alive that way. How about 50 cents per pound and create an avalanche of customers coming to you for the bargains? You can deliver them for cash and say, we do accept silver coins. How many silver coins can you buy with $35,000? That's about 897 ounces of pure silver, or 9 silver bars, 100 ounces each. I have designed a hydroponic system that can grow a lot of food in very little space, using very little water and fertilizer, and makes a lot of money. Arranged north to south, one side gets morning sun, the other side gets sun in the afternoon. Each will rest in the shade part of the day. I don't sell this unit. I'm just telling you about my design and the potential of it. This device grows 72 plants per square foot of footprint simultaneously, and there are four seasons each year. The seeds are worth more than the bell pepper itself, so you eat the pepper and sell the seeds. One foot width, six foot height, 12 feet long. 864 plants in a footprint of just 12 square feet. Very little water is used. Fertilizer does not go to waste or foul your groundwater. 
a single hydroponic unit, which is 12 feet long, 1 feet wide, planted all in peppers, with an expected average of 14 peppers per plant, has the potential to produce $48,384 worth of bell peppers annually, one unit. With profits like this, one could rent space in a shopping center or office building with grow lights. 48,384 is enough to pay for 80 more hydroponic systems identical to the unit that produced the first profits. These units don't take up much room. There's enough room for 900 of these hydroponic systems per acre capable of producing $43 million worth of crops per acre. Lettuce will give you a crop in 30 days, so you get 12 crops a year, but only one plant at a value of a dollar. That's $9,600 annually and not as good as peppers. Leave a walk path of just three feet between structures, and there's a capacity of 900,000 plants on a parcel the size of mine, 1.25 acres, with 1,125 units and room to walk. That's 726,000 plants per acre. A plant matures in 90 days, so there are four crops per year. And this means over 2.9 million plants per acre per year, maybe. Tomatoes are often $2 a pound. Bell peppers are a dollar each. One plant grows 14 peppers, so does it pay to grow your own with a system like this? The black lines feed water directly to each plant root. Water grows back to the source via PVC lines, which contain the root system. The pump goes on as water is needed, and the water contains all the nutrients that the plant needs. The pH is also tuned to the plant's needs. Most plants grow best in a slightly acidic solution. If all your neighbors want grapevines and blueberry bushes, why not grow them from seeds? Blueberries are a delicacy. People are paying as much for blueberries as they pay for steak. A grape seed isn't worth much. You get two or three from each grape. It comes with the grape and people spit them out. I plant them. When the grape seed sprouts, it becomes valuable. It grows fast and when it's knee high, it's worth a dollar or so. If you don't sell it, it grows and it's worth eight dollars soon. If you have the space, why not start some grapevines? If you buy peaches, plums, nectarines, lemons, oranges, tangerines, or grapefruit, why don't you plant the seeds and see what happens? For all the plants mentioned here, you need a slightly acidic soil. Potatoes and other root plants need a soil that's quite acidic. That means low pH. You can control the pH when you have a hydroponic system and no soil. Soil contains salts and you don't need them. If your hydroponic garden is indoors, then you can also control the light. The plant grows best in part of the electromagnetic spectrum and so you give it what it needs when it needs it. Sunlight is too harsh for many plants and the seasons control you. When you use your own lights, you control the seasons, fooling the plant into thinking this is summer and it's time to grow. Start with a single unit, $600 cost, and use the profits to buy more materials to make hydroponic units. If the cost of $600 per unit is too much to invest, start with a row of 36 at a cost of $27. If that's too much, begin with a single plant at a cost of 75 cents for the cost of materials. That's less than one can of cat food. You can eat cat food or you can eat bell peppers and tomatoes. Use the space you have and grow your own. That's my idea. Use it to have a better life.